Okay, 4.2. First of all, it says, what's the domain of this? Well, domain's going to be, you can't use negative 3, and you can't use a positive 4, so the domain is all reals, except negative 3 and 4. This one, the denominator, what does it factor to? So that'll be 3x and x, making the 3x square. <coughs> Excuse me. And to multiply to be negative 2, it's gonna, one of them's going to have to be 2, and one's going to have to be 1. If I put the 2 here and the 1 here, I get 3 and 2, which would be 5 if they were added, but it says i got to get a negative 2, so 1's got to be positive. One's negative, so that won't work. So I better put the two over here and the one here and make the two times the three negative six x plus one x. So if that's the way it factors, then a two would cause problems. So I'm gonna have to leave out, there's gonna be a vertical asymptote at two and also at whatever makes 3x plus 1 equals 0. So subtract 1, divide by 3, so it's all reals for the domain except 2 and negative 1 third. You could also have just typed that into the calculator, seen the graph, and it will cross at one third and at two, or negative point three 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 and two. This one, factor it x to the fourth minus one factors two x squared plus one and x squared minus one. X squared plus one is never zero. This is a parabola that starts at the origin and goes move it up one. This is never going to hit zero. This factors to x minus 1 and x plus 1. So we can't use 1 or negative 1. So the domain is all reals except 1 plus or minus 1. 24. x to the fourth minus uh, plus 1 does not factor. The fourth looks like this. If you move it up one, it's never zero. And so the domain is going to be all reals. Notice I didn't talk anything about the numerator because that tells you x-intercepts. It doesn't tell you what x can't be. 43, it says using transformations. Well, what you need to do is divide the x squared into both of these and you get x squared and x squared is one minus 4 over x squared, which is like 1 minus 4 times the 1 over x squared. 1 over x squared, you should know, is looks like that, pretty much, both going up on either side. And so this says, flip it over, stretch it by 4, and move it up 1. Flip it over, multiply by 4, and then move it up 1. Which means before it had a horizontal asymptote of 0, so now it has a horizontal asymptote of y equals 1. And a vertical asymptote at 0. And y equals 1, because it's moved up 1. 45, we're supposed to get the asymptotes. Well, the vertical asymptote will be at x equal negative 4, because that's what makes the denominator 0. That's the vertical asymptote. And the horizontal, since the, it, that becomes a degree war, and these are equal degrees, so it's 3 to 1, so it's y equals 3 is the horizontal asymptote. That's 45. x-intercept is 0, y-intercept is 0. Okay, 47. 
numerator factors. This is a cube. This is x cubed minus 2 cubed. And this is x squared minus 5x plus 6. Cube minus a cube. You look at what's left without the cubes, and that would be x minus 2. And then what's left is the first one squared, so that's x squared. Negative 2 squared is 4, a plus 4. And a negative 2 times x is negative 2x, but we're supposed to change the sign of the middle one, so it's plus 2x. That's how the numerator factors. This will not factor. You can graph that and see that it never hits 0, so that will not factor. This does factor to x minus 2 and x minus 3. And so we have a hole at x equals, at x uh, equal, um, a little, a little hole at x equal 2. And to find the y coordinate of it, I put 2 into the reduced form that's similar x squared plus 2x plus 4 over x minus 3, where these are canceled out. And if I put 2 in there, I get 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 12 over 4. Uh, 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So I get 12 over minus 1, which is negative 12. That's where the hole is. And so that leaves a vertical asymptote at negative or plus 3. x equal plus 3. And horizontal, the numerator wins the war, so I have to divide. Then when we were doing this, we would have taken x minus 3 into x squared plus 2x plus 4, because that's the whole, and so we can just look at what's left. And long division, x into x squared is x. x times x is x squared, x times negative 3 is negative 3x, draw the line, change the signs, and I get 5x plus 4, x into 5x goes plus 5, 5 times that's 5x, minus 15, draw the line, change the signs, and I get 19, divided by x minus 3, but don't need that. The uh, oblique asymptote is y equals x plus 5. Okay? Now, we could have done this with synthetic now that you know how to do that. x minus 3, the value is um, 3. And we want to divide that into 1x squared, 2x plus 4. 1 plus 0 is 1, times 3 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, 15, 19. So I got 1x plus 5 is my oblique asymptote. And 19 over what I was dividing by, x minus 3 is my remainder portion, but I don't need that, my oblique asymptote. And finally, 49, asymptotes. x to the fourth minus 1 factors to x squared plus 1, x squared minus 1, which continues to factor to x to the third over x squared plus 1 doesn't factor anymore. Uh, this factors to x plus 1 and x minus 1. So, vertical ones, the vertical asymptotes are x equal minus 1 for this one, and x equals 1 for this one, and the oblique, and I say oblique because the degree of the denominator was 4, the numerator is 3, no, the denominator is higher degree. So it wins the battle, and it drives this to y equals 0. 
when the degree in the denominator is larger. And that's 49.